A great application of ellipsometry is mapping uniformity of silicon on insulator wafers. So really quick, what are those? Silicon on insulator wafers are basically just a special type of silicon wafer. They're typically made up of three layers. The base substrate layer is a silicon handle wafer. Above that is a buried oxide layer, which serves to isolate the topmost silicon device layer. It's the fact that this top silicon device layer is a high quality crystal and isolated from everything else that enables these wafers to be used to make a whole variety of devices. A few interesting ones are LiDAR systems, which is the eyes of a self-driving car. Another is called RF front end module, which despite the wordy name is in basically every cell phone on the planet and without which the radio signals from the tower couldn't communicate with the digital signals in your phone. And then finally, there's a whole emerging field of silicon photonics, which promise to make data transfer speeds much faster. So in all of these applications, the key idea is that the starting blanket silicon device layer is etched down into to produce patterns. Here's an example of that in what's called a waveguide modulator, which takes an input light signal, which is passing through the silicon channel, much in the same way light would pass through fiber optics, and it modifies its output. And in order for this and most other devices to work correctly, they need to have very precise dimensions. In some of the more demanding cases, they need to be within just a few nanometers of the correct size, which is pretty much the same thing as saying these things need to be accurate to less than 10 atoms. And the height of this channel is defined by the starting thickness of the silicon layer on the wafer. Additionally, nobody just makes one of these things. They're patterned over entire wafers. So if the starting thickness of the silicon layer is different in different spots, you're going to end up with devices of all different dimensions. So if you're making these things, it'd be really nice to know ahead of time if maybe half of the devices you're going to end up with aren't really the right size and aren't going to work correctly. So it begs for a measurement system that can be atomically accurate, measured in hundreds of locations all over the wafer, and can be done quickly, cheaply, and non-destructively. Enter ellipsometry. Mapping ellipsometry checks all of these boxes. So here's an example where we've mapped a full silicon on insulator wafer. This is the variation of the topmost silicon device layer thickness over the entire wafer, and it's easy to see that this layer is thicker around the edges than in the center. By contrast, here's the thickness variation of the buried oxide layer graphed with the same vertical range. We've quickly and accurately determined that there is substantial thickness non-uniformity in the silicon layer, 16% to be exact, whereas the buried oxide layer is highly consistent, varying by only four hundredths of a percent over the whole wafer. And there you have it. Ellipsometry is an elegant screening tool for silicon uninsulator wafers.